Тема Рагнарёк в последнее время интересует многих. Ксения Евгеньевна. The Ragnarok topic is of broad interest lately. Master Ксения, for our pantheon, will it be a full-scale Ragnarok or will it follow a gentler scenario? What is actually your opinion about it? We are working for it to go according to a gentler scenario. The gentler scenario implies that it will not be a general shared karma, one for everyone. If earlier, in the Eddas and the Voluspa, and in the foundations of the Norse tradition in general, it was written that no one will escape Ragnarok, the people, the gods, the dead, and absolutely everyone will fall during Ragnarok's battle, aside from the Svartalfar that hid on time and a few Vanyar who simply didn't notice it happening, it will not avoid all others. This is according to the first scenario, when life is lived according to a general fate. Now, our practices, all of our experience of becoming and reformatting of the Norse tradition, together with the environment we live in today and the rules of passing through the Armageddon, Ragnarok, end of the world, call it as you wish, the essence remains the same. The transition from one operating system to another will not happen collectively, but individually. This means each one will go through his own Ragnarok, Armageddon, Evda with the world, Doomsday, each one will get their own, in other words. It will be exclusive and individual, not en masse. And this is considered to be the gentler option, because each one will stand with his own weapon against his personal enemy and will be fighting him precisely, breaking free from the fetters that tie him to the Sephiroth operating system in order to transition to another operating system. And it will be an individual battle. I very much hope that it will truly be so, because according to our rules, and this is very strict, children are not accountable for the mistakes of their parents. And nobody is accountable for the mistakes of the system, a system you're actually not owned by, even if the system tries to prove us the contrary, trying to label us and tell us that a surface property of his owner and that a muzzle sheep similarly is the property of the system, but this is, this is some sort of a battle as well. Who are you going into this fight as? As cannon fodder that will be sacrificed to the gods and as a consciousness that will go as payment and ransom to bail out the power of the losing gods? Or will you stand there as a warrior, fighting for his own thing, for his own folk, in support of his own force? This is actually what this time period we are going through is about. This is what we are talking about now. Who will you be transitioning as? How will you transition? And will you be transitioning at all? Because many will remain in this operating system, the old operating system, and go nowhere. It is simply that this operating system system will not have the same foundations as it did, a foundation that everyone was forced to reckon with, that is, the foundation of duality according to which everyone had to live by the last few thousand years. And they will continue living according to this OS, but it will not spread itself onto all and everyone, although I think I already told you about this.